Hi and welcome back to my devlog. As I have mentioned in the previous video, this week I was doing 3D modeling and texturing. So let's get started. Since I am making a forest and my current scene is a bit empty, on Monday I have begun making a log in ZBrush. I am always using ZBrush for making high poly models, it's even comfortable to make hard surface models. I don't use any fancy brushes, just a damn standard brush, a move brush, a clay tubes brush, and a polish or a trim dynamic brush. I usually take some references from the net, but this time I was mostly using my imagination. After I have finished uh, a high poly model, I started making a low poly model, also using ZBrush. I'm sure the same can be achieved in Blender for example, but we all choose what's comfortable for us. I would like to learn working with Blender, but this takes time, so for now I will just stick to ZBrush. Making a low poly model is probably the most boring part for me, but still I don't rush this part, so there are no mistakes later. After this I need to prepare the model for texturing, and for this I will also use something that's comfortable for me, which is 3ds Max. And again, the same result can be achieved with Blender or something else. The main thing to learn is the process of making game ready models. And it doesn't matter which tools you use. So after the model is prepared for texturing, I exported the low poly model and imported it to Marmoset Toolbag a little software that is good for viewing your models and it's also good for making bakes and that is what I used it for. I have made a few bakes like a normal map, an ambient occlusion map and also a curvature map. Sometimes I also bake an ID map for editing different materials but this time it's just a log so it's not necessary. After this I opened all the bakes with Photoshop and started creating a texture. At first it's very simple, I just add different effects on the layers, add a gradient map and adjust the colors until I'm satisfied. Later I use 3D code which is another software, I imported my log model and started drawing to add this hand painted texture feel on it, and also fixing some mistakes. Also I added some new details like the moss on top of the log and while I was drawing the moss I figured that I could rotate the log upside down and it would look like a separate model so in a way I was making two models at the same time. After all this I added my model to my 3ds Max scene where I just compared the model to other models and added some adjustments and that's it. The model is finished but not quite ready yet. The next day I thought that I could add some new blocks for my forest scene. So I just copied one of my older blocks and drew on top of it. This task was a simple one, I made two new blocks. While I was drawing them I was thinking about the story of my game. Everything begins in the forest. There will be a few tents and a fireplace where a brother and a sister will be camping. When the player starts a game he will be able to choose the one he wants to control and the other one will become an NPC. In other words a player chooses a character's gender. After this he may choose what his character would look like. There are different skin colors, hairstyles and hair colors. He will have a basic armor and some shoes. Which by the way I should add as soon as possible, until now my character runs around in her underwear, which looks weird. I don't even know why I haven't realized it before. Anyway, the character will also have a backpack, which is gonna be his main inventory. When the player starts the game, he will have a short conversation with his brother or sister and will receive his first quest to gather some food or for supper. It's a simple quest and it's basically used to make a player get familiar with navigation and gathering of many different items. So this is the beginning of the game. I think it's enough for now and I should just focus and do it. Anyway, I have finished my few new blocks and that was it for Tuesday. Next day I started making some 
new dead trees which would be used for my cemetery level and some normal trees for my town level. This was also a kind of simple task because I already had a dead tree model so I just made a copy and edited it a little bit. When I made three dead trees I started making some leaves for them. I copied the texture of the bark and lightened it a little bit and also added some vibrance for it. This would be the texture used for my normal trees. After I made some leaves I started placing them everywhere on trees and that was it. On Thursday I wanted to make some grass and some berries for my character to pick up for his first quest. I wanted to make them flat and since the game is isometric and these objects are really small it wouldn't matter if they are 2D or 3D, they would still look almost the same. So I just drew everything in Photoshop and applied the texture on simple planes. It took quite a while before I finished the texture, I also made some fixes after I compared them with other models. I'm not really good at drawing, but I think this came out great. On Friday I started making some mushrooms which would also be used for the quest. There is nothing new to add here, the process of making this model is the same as making a lock, except this time I didn't use ZBrush, but just made the model in 3ds Max, as well as prepared the texture for it, and the texture was made fully by hand without any bakes. Sometimes when the models are very simple, baking textures is just not necessary. I am one of those guys who uses this so called 80-20 rule where you use 20% of your time to produce 80% of your work and to finish those remaining 20% you would need to use additionally 80% of your time because finishing something takes a lot longer. So for me it's better to have 5 unfinished models rather than 1 fully finished model. 80% finished models are good enough for me to use in my game. That's what I think about my models. They could be way better, but I want to make my game quicker so that my motivation wouldn't drop. Anyway, that's it for this week. I am happy with the result. But if you have any suggestions or if you would like for me to make a tutorial video about making the game models, then just let me know in the comments. See you next time and have a great day.